Hi folks, and welcome to another Unblock Me video. Today we are going to be looking at GitHub Pages, which is essentially hosting for your front end. GitHub Pages is a free service provided by GitHub. It supports hosting any front end project that is contained in the GitHub repository. It does not support hosting any back end, so once we get to the point where we're doing back end, we'll have to move to something like Heroku or Render. It can be extremely useful to get a front end project hosted quickly and easily so you can share it. And honestly, it's a really, really valuable service to be aware of and take advantage of, especially if you're doing a lot of front end work. Let's get started. So to start off, we're going to make a new GitHub repository. Remember, you have to um, have a GitHub repository in order to use GitHub pages. If you're using some other system of storing your code, then it's not going to work. I'm going to call this GitHub pages test. Um, you don't have to call it that. If you have uh, something for your challenges, for example, for your front end homework, and you've created a repository for that, that should be totally fine. We'll leave this as public, add a readme file, great. All right, now that that's created, let's go ahead and clone it. So I'm gonna go into bootcamp and git clone my pages directory. All right, let's go in there, GitHub pages test, and let's open up VS Code. We're not gonna do a super complicated thing for this. We're gonna do something relatively easy because the point is not the front end, the point is actually pushing it up. So from here, I'm going to very simply create an index.html page. And I'm going to use the Emmet abbreviation to create a very simple page. Give it a title, and then I'm going to put some text on it. This is a sample page hosted on GitHub pages. You can do JavaScript. You can do CSS hosted on GitHub pages as well. Uh, I'm just not going to do that right now. Important thing, your index.html must be at the top level. So if you've accidentally pulled in your repository, let me make this just a little bit bigger. If you've, if you've copied your homework over and you have, for example, a deploy or um, rather a develop folder and then inside that you have your index.html, this is not going to work. Your index.html has to be at the top level or GitHub pages is not going to function properly. That is really important. Always top level. And if you've got it somewhere else, then it's just going to get confused and not load anything. Be careful if you're moving your index.html out of a folder into the top level. Make sure that you um, update your CSS and JavaScript relative paths so that they're still pointed at the correct location. So now that I've done that, I'm going to commit this. And then we're going to push it up. And then I'm going to type my key again because I keep getting it wrong. <sighs> All right, there we go. That's there. Let's reload this just to make sure. OK, so now we have our index HTML. It's there. What you want to do at this point is you want to go over to settings in GitHub. So click that. And now you want to go to pages on the left side here. OK, build and deployment, deploy from a branch. OK, leave that. Select your main branch. OK, and you can see it's root. The only two folders you could do are root and docs. And this is why it's really important that your index HTML is at the top level because GitHub pages will only go from two different folders and one of them is the top level, the root. So make sure that root is selected. Okay. Again, GitHub pages. So we've gone from settings, pages on the left, leave deploy for a branch there, select your branch. Usually it's probably going to be main, root, and then click save. Okay. That takes a minute to save. Then what we're going to do is if you go back to your code here, it's going to take a minute. Actually, we can probably find the, um, where is it? Actions. If you go to actions here at the top, 
um, you can see the workflow running. This is pages build and deployment. This is a specific build that I asked it to do. If you want, you can actually click on this. Um, you can see what stage it's on. If you click on into here, you can actually see the little like console jobs that are going on. Um, this is, looks like it hasn't actually, yeah. Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, now it's going to deploy. It's pretty fast, honestly. If you give it a minute to get started up because GitHub, it, it is a free service. So they do kind of throttle beginning the job, but it's not like it's super complicated what your system is doing usually. So they usually do it. Now you can see the deploy is green there. That is green. If we go back to code, now we can see environments here. If you click on that, it says active. If it starts building at this point, like if you push another change into main, GitHub pages will automatically queue up another build. So this will this will change to like building or deploying. We click on this and you can see it takes us to another page here. Then we can say view deployment. Click on that. This is a sample page host on GitHub. Important thing, this URL. It is my username.github.io slash the repository name. This is what you need to turn in for your homework. So if they're saying, give us the live link, this link is the live link. You'll need to turn in um, your GitHub link as well. That's also very important. But this link is the one that is actually going to your page and the graders will need to access that. So to go over that again, from settings, pages, main, root, save, wait for it to build. You can check on your building actions. Once it's done building, if you go to environments, you'll see the GitHub pages environment. Click on that and then click view deployment and that will get you to your page. So hope that was helpful and I'll see you all next time.